we have our policy for this building. The policy does not trump the United States Constitution, ma'am. That's all I'm telling you. Okay, we just need a driver's license and we'll check in. Yeah, I don't have a driver's license. Why would you need a driver's license for me to come into a building? A pub a, 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 this is a public building, right? Please only be on this point. Where? We're trying to be nice and cordial. Yeah, We're I, I, I believe I am. I believe I am too, man. And you are in, you, you're, you're moving I'm, past where you What I'm doing is I'm gathering. Please don't come back here because you're going to capture people's personal information. Well, maybe you shouldn't be gathering people's personal information then. If you can't protect it. Well, if you don't have government ID, you can't come into this building. That's what you're telling me? Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we are at the Town Hall here in Huntington, New York, right here on Long Island. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas and to ensure that our public officials and public servants respect and honor that right. I've gotten a few emails regarding the town hall here in Huntington saying that their policies here are very strict. So let's find out. Let's get into it. All persons and packages are subject to search upon entry to a town hall. Failure to consent or submit to an inspection will result in denial of entry. So you have to be searched to enter town hall. Interesting. Hey, how are you? Uh, nothing, just decided to take a look at your uh, town hall here. Oh, sorry about that. No, I'm just uh, taking a look at your town hall. That's all, I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. Okay, we just need a driver's license and we'll check in. Yeah, I don't have a driver's license. Why would you need a driver's license for me to come into a building? A pub a, 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 this is a public building, right? Well, we do it by appointment only. Yeah. Would it would an account would an account of who's in the building help with that fire? That's what, that's what, that's what yeah, but just counting people as far as you know. We don't do it like you know that. how many people are upset that they that they're Everyone requiring. Does it different. We don't do it like that. Yeah. No, I'm just saying that you don't need a you don't it doesn't make sense because you don't need a uh, you don't need a license to vote or do anything like that, but to be yeah. So you need a license to enter this building. What if what if somebody didn't have what if not everybody has a license, sir? So what would happen if somebody didn't have a license? I'm sorry. What if they didn't have any of that? Then they wouldn't be able to come in. So you can't if you don't have any if you don't have government ID, you can't come into this building. No. That's what you're telling me. No. Oh, okay. Can I speak to a supervisor? He's on his way. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. This this is a, this isn't a restrict. This isn't. What notice? I don't understand what you're saying. The, are you referring to this notice right here? Yep. The one the one that says that I need a mask. Where is there Where is there a sign saying that? Where? Please only be on this point. Where? I don't see it. Can you show it to me? I don't see it. Please. That's all I'm asking you. Stand right over here. This I'm is at, the area for our people that have already been checked in. Okay, I'm just, I'm in the, this is the public lobby, sir. So I'm not gonna. This is the public lobby right here. There is no, so, look, is the there's a sign lobby. over there saying employees yeah. only behind yeah. that point yeah. over there. See, total, total ID right there. Beyond that point, do you see the sign over there, sir? Where it says that you can't be you behind that point? Over here on this side, sir. sir, I'm just, all I'm doing is gathering content from my story. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going in any restricted areas. This is this a public side. building. This side right here. Sir, this is a public building, sir. This is a lobby to a public building. Can I get your name? Mike. Mike? Yep. Mike Carley? That's me. Thank you. Let's take a look at all these, uh, what they got going on over here. Town Hall, Town of Huntington. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Just don't come back here because you're going to capture people's personal information. What, right? what, what personal information? It's personal information when they log in. It has their their personal information, their name, their address, and everything. Okay? Well, well, maybe you shouldn't be gathering people's personal information then. 
If you can't protect it, why would you gather their personal information? We're protecting it by you not filming. No, but you're not protecting it by putting it out in the open. This is a public lobby. It's really frustrating when people come over to me trying to tell me what to do, but they don't identify themselves. It's like, who are you to be telling me what to do? Yes, ma'am. I'm just, I'm just, I told you I'm an independent journalist. I'm working on a story. I'm just taking pictures of everything that's in public right here. That's all. That's all I'm doing. Unless you're signing, you have to... Ma'am, this is a public building, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, this is a public is. building. It Correct. Is. Yeah. But we have, I'm a member of the we public. Have, we have our policy for this building. Yeah, and but the policy does not the po the policy does not trump the United States Constitution, ma'am. That's all I'm telling you. I'm just I'm just I'm not trying to be confrontational with you, ma'am. I've been very respectful for you since I've gotten here. I'm not I'm not causing a scene. I'm just peacefully exercising my rights. That's all. I don't want to get into a back and forth with you. I don't. I just want to peacefully ex I know you didn't make the policy, but Yes. See, we're, we're, we're trying to be nice and cordial. Yeah. We're uh, I, I believe I am. I believe I am too, ma'am. You are inch. You, you're, you're moving. I'm. Past what I'm doing is I'm gathering. I'm, I'm gathering content. There is no restricted area sign here, ma'am. There is no. Sir, who, who are you? I'm the supervisor, Jack Tata Novich, for April 4th. What, what was your name? Tata Novich. I, I didn't get that. Sorry. Tata Novich. Okay. Okay. No, it's Polish, so it's hard to pronounce. Oh, okay, yeah. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing well. How are you? Pretty good. You're uh, the supervisor here. Yes, for the 8th to 4th shift during the day. Okay, great. So, uh, was there any conflicts? I know she was... Um, no, I don't... I don't think I don't think I don't have any conflicts with anybody here. I just there is I'm in the I'm an independent journalist okay. gathering content for a story, okay. looking at all your signs here, you know, just gathering content peacefully for my story, exercising my First Amendment right of okay. freedom of press. Yes. Um, they had informed me that I need a government ID to enter this building. Yes, unfortunately, that's the policy set in place by the supervisor's office. Yeah, the town attorney. it's an unconstitutional policy, because if you need what if somebody didn't have the money or the means to obtain a government ID? They couldn't. They couldn't have public services. You understand what I'm saying? The the same way that they're trying. The same way that the that everybody makes a big deal about needing an ID to vote, because then you're, you know, you're excluding certain people who don't have the means or the money to obtain an ID. That's their argument anyway. So this is a public building that has public services that are offered to the public. So if you're requiring an ID. You're excluding a group of people from entering this ID. Well, we're not excluding anybody. We're, yeah. We ask for the ID. Yeah. If you're here without an ID, and yeah. you have a specific place you're going, yeah. we always can ask the department in that particular if they're allowing that to happen. Okay. So if you don't have it on you and you're going to go somewhere, and you can ask, it's up to the discretion of the department. Okay. I'm going off the policies and procedures that are in place. Okay. That we usually have the ID as the means of entry into the building. Yeah. That's unconstitutional, sir. Just I know it's not your policy. I know you're just enforcing the policy. Yes. I get that. But me as a citizen and an independent journalist who practices my freedom of press yes. right, yes. it's unconstitutional. And I'm not going to comply with an unconstitutional policy because policies do not trump the Constitution of the United States, sir. Okay. So well, I... that's... Hi, ma'am. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hi, you okay? Yes, yeah. I understand your rights and everything. Yeah. Like that. And I do get it. But again, I'm not, like I told you, the policy's put in place. I'm just trying to do the job that, yeah. you know, they're hiring. I'm not going, any, I'm not going into any restricted areas. No. I'm not doing anything like that. It's still an ID is required. That's, that's the issue here. It's, yeah. not, it's not that we don't let you in the building in Rome. Yeah. We do have the policies put in place. I have the memo on me about where people with the license and the passes can go in the building at the moment. Yeah. So I do have that on me. But the ID policy has been in place since I've been here about six years ago. Yeah, it's, it's definitely uncommon because you've never had somebody like me to come and challenge it. That's why. And this is what I do. I challenge I challenge unconstitutional and yeah, policies. Right to be here. Not I have you don't. I that's I challenge unconstitutional policies. I understand that it's not your policy, you didn't come up with it. Yeah. But I that is my job. I un, I challenge unconstitutional policies. Just like you have a sign out front that says you are subject to search. You know, by entering this building, this is a public building. This is there is no security. What's the security risk to to go see the town clerk? We, I've been in many town halls, and not one of them requires a search. And again, like I said, it's, there's been problems in the past. And again, like I told you, the policies are put in place that are above my head. I understand that. So I get 
I'm in the situation where we're discussing it right now. Yeah. And again, I'm not trying to get them ruling. No. I'm trying to give you a hard time. No, I can I can see that, and I and I and I appreciate that you're just trying to do your job, but just I want you to understand that I'm just doing my job as well. As a United States citizen and an activist and an independent journalist, my job is to stand up for our rights. So I just want to let you know, it's not the, the same way, it's not the personal against me, it's not the personal against you, sir. I'm just going to stand up for my rights and I'm going to film in public, I'm going to film in the public lobbies. The public lobby isn't the issue. Filming is not an issue. I know. Yeah. So, and then I also wanted to file a Freedom of Information Act request with the clerk to get that policy. Okay. That you're speaking of? Yeah. Um, well, I would have to get that for you because we have everything filed through our department. I can get you a copy of that for sheet. Yeah, that policy. Okay. okay. What, 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 what's the, for me to fill out what? For the four. Oh, okay. Yes, okay, because okay. everything has I want to, okay. Yes, so I will get you a copy of that. Okay, great. Uh, figure great. That out where we're going to get the, either as a town clerk or if it's in the public safety. Department. Okay, great. Yeah, because I just want to see that policy because, the, you know, I might, I might need it right. for further legal action because, you know, as... I, like I said, I'm trying to affect change here, so I can't affect change without knowing yeah, exactly know what, the what, what the rules are, so yes. that way I can fight against those rules, right. because if they're unconstitutional okay. in any so way. I can start working on that for you. Okay, great. I'm going to have to ask you, because this is a waiting area. Yeah. Just wait right over here. Okay, yeah. so what's, but let's be fair, what's the difference between me standing here and me standing over there? Because people are sitting behind yeah, so, but they're in public. I'm not trying to. I'm not. I'm gonna get away from them just yeah, just for just, COVID. I'm just. I'm not gonna be away from. Listen, I have no problem with filming. Yeah. I have some other people that feel uncomfortable. Yeah. They don't mm -hmm. understand. Like you said, you explain to me. Why yeah, exactly. Know. And I'll explain it to anybody who asks yeah. who asks me nicely. Really, yeah. I'm not a. I'm not trying to be uh, a jerk here or anything yeah, no, like that. No. I'm just. I'm just doing my job. That's all I'm doing. I completely understand. Okay. All right. I I'll, I'll, I'll I'll keep my distance from people. Yeah, that's it. I all appreciate right. It. Listen, and again, like I said, I'm not telling you you can't be here. Yeah. These are just what we're told, and this is the policy in place. I understand. And I don't want to really start any issues. Yeah, yeah. Anybody in here. Yeah, know, sure, the sure. Is, uh, signage and everything. Sure. That's why it's posted. Yeah, I understand. Yes. So, and I understand, the, I understand the policies. Like I said, I'm, I'm here challenging them, though, mm -hmm. because okay. I believe to be, them to be unconstitutional. That's okay. all. Well, I'll start working on the foil for you right now. Okay, thank you. you. At least all right. sheet to fill out. All right, thank you, sir. He seems very reasonable. Thanks for your patience. No problem. Sorry, I, didn't, I didn't get your first name. My name's Sean. Sean, nice Sean. to meet you. Yeah. So here is the general FOIL applicant that we need to fill out. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for something specific, it'll be there. And the information is to, um, you can either deliver it, mail it, fax or email it. Perfect. On the town website. If you search FOIL, it will give you the department head that you would have to email if you would like to send it that way. Yeah. So no, I'll just do it while I'm here. Why not? I'll fill it out and do it while I'm here. Okay. We need okay. a, uh, let me see if I can get you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. So we're going to request all the policies in regards to entering the building here. So we finished up this uh, foil application. So I, I suggested um, I want to see them during business hours. Okay. So um, I left my number okay. and my... Uh, business name okay as well as my first name sean which mm -hmm. i told you yes and this is the documents that i want to take a look at okay any policies uh, regarding entry to the town hall okay internal or external policies okay and then any policies regarding filming in town hall and any searches okay. that you need to undergo okay you mean according to the sign out stuff, yeah that you said you're yeah. subject to search i would like to see the internal policy to okay. that to, no problem. so that the way i can address it as far as you know and don't hold me to it because you know policies do change yeah for the filming i haven't seen any issues with the filming okay but you know you just want to see just in case that's, perfect that's all yeah. just in case there is anything against that's filming then, that's all and i think this is theirs to respond okay. yeah. yeah i just printed out whatever i had on my okay paper. perfect all right so yep uh, if anything, they will try to reach out to you on that cell phone number you gave. Okay, cell great. Number, yeah, I, I, I hope so. Because then there, there is like a FOIL, uh, FOIL commission yes. that will, no, if, they, they, they have to respond they in a timely manner. They back to you. Okay. I can't give you an ETA because I don't know yeah, where, sure. where they're going to pull it from in the first place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I definitely will deliver it. Probably would have to be. Probably the town clerk. Town clerk. Yeah. The town attorney just to see what they have in place because they might be involved yeah. with all this. But definitely the I town will. clerk should have all the records. Yeah. yeah they should have. Them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then also the, uh, you know, so, and then as far as me going to see the town clerk, what are, what are your policies based on that you know of as of today to go see the town clerk? If you were, if you were to go see the town clerk, yeah. 
we have no issue with that. Okay. But again, I go with the whole thing with the ID. Yeah. The problem is, is that if you're in an office of people doing personal business, I understand you're recording, you're allowed to record. The policy is you won't be able to bring the camera into those things because it might be a debt certificate or a certificate, something like that. Yeah. Not to say that they don't have the uh, some some privacy in what they're doing. Yeah. You never know. Uh, All right. You might say something and somebody's like... So yeah, but that's, and that's exactly... By you saying that right there, that's exactly why I want to get the filming. Because, you know, the town clerk's office is a public... Yes. It's a public area yes. that everybody should be able to, you know, you I can I can ask for the, yeah, at any time. And then I should be able to ask for, you know, your budget. You know, they have these books, yes. binders, you know, the end of the year budget, your your financial statements. I look at them at every town hall I go to right. just to see how much money the town has. What are they spending it on? Mm-hmm. Stuff of that nature as part of my uh, investigative journalism. Right. So, you know, that's, and that's why it's concerned for me that you say that I can't film in the town clerk's office because you know that is that a policy that's why i put that on there because i want to see what's the policies that you guys have in effect as far as for filming in yes, whatever kind of area different. like filming in people's private offices or going behind a counter that's obviously that's different yes. but if i'm just filming everything that i'm walking around if i can see it with my eyes i can film it yes, like it's not my job to like the same way you guys have that computer there yes. and i'm sure you guys have personal information there yes. if i can see it from public you know that's not my that's not my your job is to secure people's public and infor- uh private information you know what i mean like put maybe you could put something on that computer where it you know blacks out the the screen from a certain angle you know those are things that you can do to because the, the other gentleman was like hey don't film over in this direction because you're going to get people's you know honestly my job is not to protect people's information your job is to protect people's information as the town hall Mm -hmm. you know if i can see it from public then you're not doing a very good job about Mm -hmm. you know what i mean just that's my opinion and that's how i feel so you know that's why i wanted to see exactly what's the what's the um procedures i'll work on on getting it to the proper department and having try to reach back out to you okay great and then like you said to be back in person during business hours so they can great. To set something up. Great, yeah, I left my number on there so yeah, they can fine. they can reach out. Okay, great. Okay. Great. Thank you. No Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. No, no worries. Anytime. Thank you. Why would I be calling an employee if I didn't send nothing over there? We wanted to see if they did. And obviously she just said they did. So we will be back here to follow up with our FOIA request. For the policies of this building they provided service to me i was able to walk in all the public areas without providing a government id which right here it says that you need a government id or a student id Thank you for taking my FOIA request and uh, submitting it. Uh, I will be back to check up on it if I haven't, if I don't hear anything. And then also, I'm going to want to take a look at like the the reports and the books that town clerk has. So you know, I just want to see the policies first, and then I'll challenge them at that point. Anything while if they call you back or if yeah. you're here, while besides you're looking into those policies, yeah, I wouldn't hesitate to ask them while you're here. Yeah, to do that as well. Okay, to be able to ask them. So you know what. It's all in one shot if you want to do Great, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, sir. No Appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. All right, guys. So we're just getting out of Town Hall here in Huntington, New York. Definitely a fail. They have way too many policies that are unconstitutional here that you're subject to search upon entering the building. And if you do not consent to that search, you will be removed from the building. Also... You need government issued ID to enter the building and to stay in the building and to conduct business in the building. Obviously, I did not get searched and I did not provide any government ID and I was able to enter the building. They do have a lot of areas that are restricted to employees only at this time, which is concerning. I did uh, file a Freedom of Information Act request to get the policies up for entering the building, the internal policies, as well as the internal policies for filming, because apparently I can't film in the offices if I had business in the office. So, you know, this is just the first step. We're gonna come back here to pick up our Freedom of Information Act requests, 
and we'll see how it goes from there, guys. You know, the security guard, the public safety uh, sergeant here was uh, very nice and cordial with me, and I appreciate that. You know, I've been dealing with a lot of crazy tyrants lately, so it's good to um, to deal with some reasonable people. We might not agree, but, you know, we can be cordial with each other. So we'll be back here. Stay tuned. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island audit. Peace.